Austin Main Digger here. I've been digging a few days in a new dump. I'm sorry I haven't been getting many footage. I keep forgetting my camera. But uh, uh I'm just going to show you what I've been finding so far and I'll try to make a video soon. Um, I'm not going to be able to get back to the dump till I clean up all these. And this is only a fraction of what I've cleaned up so far. I got three more boxes and I gotta hoe out my house. I just got so much clutter in my house from stuff I've been finding. And I've been working really hard with something, but anyway, um, enough dilly dallying. Let's get to the chase. Listerine. Screw top one. A little different from the ones I've been finding. It says Listerine, like, around the neck. Instead of the ones I usually find, it just says Listerine, like, once in big letters like that. Um, Lydia Pankham's Vegetable Compound. I didn't have a clear one, so that was a good find. Uh, found another one of these really rare gold certos. Found actually two of these, but I smashed one by mistake, because I don't know how this happened, but I put a pile of my good bottles, and I threw a brick, and it somehow like rolled onto the other one and smashed it. Bud's Best Beverages Soda. Love my soda bottles. Found two of my favorites, a Scuffy Shoe Polish. Scuffy, and then this one looks like a Scuffy, but it's actually a, a square something wax. I don't know. I don't know what that word is. And then the caps says the same thing, but it's in the shape of a Scuffy bottle. Both of them still got the wax and stuff in them. Uh, Vaseline, brown one. Something I really noticed that was strange about this, hopefully you can see that, is it's got quotation marks around the word Vaseline. I thought that was really strange. I've never seen it do that before. I know a lot of people like toss these aside because they think they're junks, like these ketchups, but this one was really cool. The top is very unusual. It's not something I see. Like, look how short the threads are. I just kept it for that reason. This one, the top was busted. I find so many busted milks there, it's not even a joke. But this was the closest one to a full one I could find. And it was a really nice one, too. I had so nice, I wanted to keep it. Honey Gardens PN Town Shed with a nice honeycomb on it. And on the back, it's got like a clover or something. But as you can see, the top's really broken up. I did find one full milk, but it had a crack in it, and then when I was cleaning it, it broke. I have really bad luck with milks lately. Um, Minard's Liniment. I've never seen one like this before. It even says Minard's on the bottom. See if I can focus with that. Th there's another case of a really good bottle, but it's damaged, but I kept it anyway. Uh, LB. Dow Downing. I think that's what that says. And then a nice chemist logo. As you can see, it's got a massive crack through the center. And it says, Pharmacists Hanover, New Hampshire. And the top's also kind of melted too, but it was a really nice one. Um, I found a couple of variations of these California fig surfs. This one's very faded, as you can see. It's like very hard to read. This one, on the other hand, is not. The lettering is so bulged out, you could see it a mile away. And it just says California Fig Syrup. It doesn't say all the other stuff like that one does. Large squib. Um, this paint label one, Diversity Dulac Remover. I don't know what the heck Milkstone is. Milkstone Remover. If anyone, if anyone knows what that is, please tell me. I have no idea what Milkstone Remover is. This one was one of my better bottles I found. Uh... Hankins specific Bordentown, New Jersey. Nice aqua color. Lysol. One, it's one with the side embossing. That's good because I didn't have one like that. The, the ones with the other type are very common. Uh, the Kilinoids Company. Liquid Cholinoids. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. I. I'm not good with like chemist words like that. This really small one. And it says U2. Thought that was funny. Um 
I think I found that bottle a while back, actually. I don't know. Then these are some of the best ones. I found three blue ones. This is the first one. It's not very old, but it's still nice. It says Noxzema on the bottom. I still got the stuff inside it. Um, a Phillips Milk of Magnesia. Um, this Carl Fleck one. It's blue again. And then these are my two best, three best bottles I found in my opinion. A shoe shaped bottle. And it's cork top. A trumpet shaped bottle or a horn. And this one was my fit, one of my favorites. G E O Blake's Rye and Beer Whiskey. U G R Gum Blake's Rye and Beer Whiskey. Adams Taylor and Company. Proprietors Boston and Louisville. Boston and Louisville. That's Louisville. I don't know. Anyway, it's nice cork top, nice whiskey. Anyway, um, I also got some more over here. As you can see, I got a bunch in the boxes that haven't been cleaned up yet. Aqua cork top blank whiskey, um, haunt old wine, uh, Pepsi, other things. And I'll make a video of that when I clean them up. Uh, this one I found, it was a Father John's. It was a cork top version, which I didn't have, but I was cleaning and it had a hole in it. That was sad. And then this one broke on the way home. It's a Hoods Compound Extract Sarsaparilla. And that was unfortunately cracked when it was being cleaned as well and broke. That was disappointing. And then I got a few more over here that I just barely cleaned. Uh, Fitzgerald Brewing Company, Troy, New York. It's a really nice one. Uh, Dolan. And I don't know what that says. I'm not a very good cursive word person. Portland, Maine. Uh, blank cork top aqua one. D E Doctor D Jane's tonic. Ver Vermiforce Vermiflood. I don't know what that says. Two four two Charles. Two four two Chess Street, Philadelphia. Then this one says Burnett, Boston. And lastly, I got a few things that aren't bottles um, that I've been finding. Uh, old glass top or an ashtray lid to something. I don't know what this is. I think it's like an old bell or something. A um, couple cups. Uh, automobile topper. Buckle. Ceramic lid. Door, drawer knob. Uh, barrel drawer thing. And an ashtray. Kind of a glass ashtray. Pepper shaker, some soap trays, a cup, a whole bunch of buttons. Like, look at this. This is this, is, this dump has this many buttons in it. I'm not even joking. Uh, a ring. I don't know what it goes to. I just came in. A uh, buckle, an old pocket watch, a ceramic shoe. And for you can people, I've been finding some cans on the side of the road lately too. Mountain Dew Halo Game Fuel. Very, very rough condition. Looks like it was mauled by a raccoon. Uh, surge. Yes, I have a Surge can. I could not believe I found that. It's like one of the rarest soda cans ever. Pepsi Throwback. They don't make that anymore. Mountain Dew. Old school. In very good condition. And a Hires root beer. A little dented up. That's a very tasty root beer, according to my grandfather, but they don't make it anymore, which is sad. And lastly, I got some more over here, just bottles I'm going to sell at the flea market, squeeze soda, blank cork tops, California fig syrups, no. Oh, wait a minute, I did find one full milk, then. Oh, but it's blank, of course, or mass seal. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry the video took so long, and I'm trying. To, I'll try to get a video of the dump next time I go. So yeah, Boss Man Digger signing out.